Hey, how's it going, YouTubers? This is Falcon CX, and today I'm gonna be talking about the uh, two different ways that you can install Ubuntu if you already have Windows XP, Vista, or Windows 98. Uh, so the two methods are using Wubi or using a live CD. I have already talked about how to do it using Wubi, and if you want to know how to do it using Wubi, you can go to my YouTube channel and uh, check that out. Um, this is my YouTube channel right here. That's the page youtube.com Falcon CX1. Do a search right here for Wubi and uh, you can find the tutorial on how to do it using Wubi. And I also have a tutorial on how to create a live CD. So that's the that's what you want to do first if you want to do the uh, live CD method. If you use Wubi, uh, the advantages are that it is pretty easy to uninstall. If you install it and you don't like Ubuntu, you just go into your Microsoft Windows operating system and you can uninstall it easily. Using Wubi, you will not harm your Windows files at all. When you install Wubi, you will be prompted when you boot your computer up if you want to go into Windows or if you want to go into Ubuntu. Now, the disadvantages of using Wubi to install uh, Ubuntu is that booting times for Ubuntu are slower. They usually last about 50 seconds when if you use a live CD to partition your drive it takes about 20 seconds to boot up Ubuntu another thing that if you use Wubi and you're in the Ubuntu OS you will not be able to access the files in your Windows OS so if you want to retrieve documents that you have in your Windows OS but you're in the Ubuntu OS at the moment you have to reboot and go to Windows so that's one of the one of the disadvantages of uh, using Wubi because you don't have true partitions this is why that happens now if you use a, if you use a live CD to uh, install Ubuntu you will create real partitions and the advantage of doing that is that your booting times will be f a lot faster usually to boot up if you have used a live CD, it takes about 20 seconds because you have real partitions. You're not accessing files from the Windows OS. Uh, like I mentioned before, if you use the live CD, you can access files while you're in the Ubuntu OS in your Windows partition. Let me show you right here in my removable media I have another this drive is not real it's a partition and I can access all my files all my Windows files I can access see this is, here's Windows I can access that through Ubuntu and when I'm in Windows I can access my files from my Ubuntu partition so that's it's pretty useful to have it like that. You can access everything if you use a live CD. You don't have to reboot every time. So if you decide to use the live CD, one thing you want to do is make sure that you unplug all the hard drives that you are not going to be installing in. So just leave the hard drive with your Windows OS. All the other ones, unplug them while you do the installation otherwise when Ubuntu boots up it's going to try to install in your hard drive that has the largest free space and you don't want to erase something that's on that hard drive so just leave the hard drive where you have Windows connected all the other ones disconnect them for while you do this process if you have external ones shut them off uh, when you put in your live CD you will get a screen like this one so just click on install Ubuntu and the process will begin 
Now, like I mentioned before, first look at my YouTube videos on how to create a live CD so you can go on and do this, okay? So here we are. Select your language and then click forward. Now you're going to select your area for the uh, for the time zone. So go ahead and do that. And then click forward. This is for the keyboard. I have a keyboard that's from the US. So I select this. Check if it works on the uh, space bar provided there. And click forward. This next section takes a while to boot up. It's the partition section. There we go. Now, people make it seem like it's very difficult, but it's really not. You don't have to do anything. You have to leave it right there and guide it. And then, see this toolbar right here? You're gonna give a boot to the space you want. So I'm gonna give, give it uh, 200 gigabytes. And I'm going to give uh, Microsoft Windows only 80. So go ahead and do that. Microsoft Windows only 80. Ubuntu 217. And then you click forward. Now, click continue once this window pops up. Then it's going to resize the partition for you. So after that's done, click forward and the installation will begin to install automatically. There we go. Forward. Now oh, this is this is pretty straightforward. Uh, name, your login, password, name of computer. If if you want your computer to log in automatically, you check mark that. Otherwise, uh, it's going to prompt you for your password and username. So I'm gonna put my camera down while I do that. Now here you have an option to migrate uh, documents in your Microsoft Windows XP Home Edition operating system. If you want your pictures, documents, and all that other stuff, you can click that. Otherwise, if you don't want that, just click forward. And uh, we're done. Check that everything's correct and uh, select uh, install and it takes about I would say uh, a bit less than an hour to install so when you boot up your computer next time it's gonna prompt you whether you want to go to Ubuntu or Windows XP